the manager, Matt Ford, the promoter and owner, with us here, along with the Premiership title trophy as well. Uh, Neil, you've done it again. The winning feeling. What's Fan it like? Fantastic. I mean, eighth title, but it doesn't get any better, to be fair. And I think just the season, the way we've won it this year has been fantastic. Yeah, I think we can see what those celebrations are like and what the winning that trophy feels like. I mean, you've done it a few times, but it's still special when you get up there on the podium. Oh, of course, and I think I was re really nervous on this one. I don't know why, just thinking because I know how strong Kington were at home, that even though we had a 16-point lead, was it going to be enough? And the thing is, I mean, if you go back to July this year, you are bottom of the table, and suddenly you've turned it right around. How did you do it? Um, I think the signing of Chris Harris has certainly been a major impact on the club. One or two other changes as well, and, and suddenly we just grew, and it, it went from strength to strength. 16 points was the advantage. We talked a lot earlier in the week about what you would need to take there. Uh, sometimes sports teams, that's where it can really foul up, isn't it, when you're just trying to sit on a lead. So what was the kind of strategy going into last night? Yes, now I said to the boys on the track walk before the meeting, I said, you know, we've got the 16 point lead, but let's not protect it. Let's go and try and attack them straight away. But, you know, Kingsley came out all guns blazing. Mm, what are you thinking here, Neil? Just as you were just pensive there before. This is the all important yeah, people yeah, thing. Yeah, no, I was thinking, you know, we, we need the three all. And I'm sort of looking at Freddie there in third place, thinking, just please hang on, please hang on, because I didn't want to go to a last heat decider. No. And uh, there we go, fantastic. And there we are. Yeah. And, you know, I, I thought it was great to see the, the two of you embracing there, yeah. the great scenes. It has been a remarkable, remarkable comeback year, hasn't it? Really it? Has. I mean, 20 years you've been there, Matt. 25 trophies in that time, I think we've totted them up. Is this the end for you? Because the club is up for sale, isn't it? It is. Um, it could well be the end for me, but it's certainly not the end of the club. That's the most important part. Um, something's taken my interest elsewhere, and I'm having a look at that at the moment. Hard um, to let go, though, is it? It certainly would be. Because there's an um, emotional pull, isn't there, as well? Most definitely. I was born in the town. Um, it's tattooed on my arm. And uh, it, I, I lo I've always loved the club, gone since I was a kid, so I love it. And will you carry on, Neil? I don't if know. Matt it's, goes. it's a difficult one. I've always said that, you know, Matt. Paul Spiegel with Matt and I, I think, over the last 20 years, and I think for, for Matt to leave would be very hard for me to, to work with somebody else because we've had such a good relationship and um, it'd be very hard to follow. Mm. 20 years, what a journey. A, an incredible portion of your lives. I mean, we were talking earlier on about how I've been here 20 years now. I mirror your entire, I can look at the, that whole phase of your lives. An incredible journey for you along the way. It, it has been, and, and a huge part that the BBC have played in it with you guys along coming to our meetings for many years. And, and it's been a, a great success. I mean, I think, uh, you know, it's a little sleepy town in, in the south coast. Is uh, now world has worldwide recognition, yeah. so that's great. It's fantastic, and congratulations to everybody at Ford Pirates. This is a lovely piece of silverware to end on, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for coming Thank in. You Thank you very much. Well Thank you. Good luck.